Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Let's Play Saints Row 4. In the last mission, or excuse me, in the last episode, we were working on a mission that brought us way over time. And um, we're going to continue off on that mission and probably do another one or two. And now we got telekinesis. <laughs> Bitch! Launch you into space! Or an invisible wall. Whichever. Ooh, now I get to go bowling. Oh, I have a terrible bowler. I forgot about that. There's a giant glass orb here, Kinsey. Yeah, it has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Yep, now you guys know what these are for. Hey! Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. Hey, buddy, what, what's up? things at the warden and take down his shield. Oh, oh no. So yeah, we gotta do this now. Come on. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Oh, I'm sure. I know there's like a couple of uh, side missions that heavily depend on it. I think there's a few regular missions that also heavily depend on telekinesis. But yes, the force element causes telekinesis to deal additional damage to a target upon impact. Alright, so um, we also got crewmate Sid. The AI has been uploaded into a Sid on the ship. Visit the AI to learn how to further improve your superpowers. What does CID stand for, anyway? Yeah, yeah, he's a homie now, cool. And we got South Downtown, nice. Ooh, and now we got the bounce rifle, which is, uh, okay. The bounce rifle fires social butterflies. Very deadly social butterflies. <laughs> Equip it at your gateway weapon cache. Works for me. Alright, that was fun. So what shall we do next? Probably another mission. Okay. And I fly like an eagle into the future. Oh, mind over murder. Okay. You guys are going to love this, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to meet you guys over there. Don't worry. And we're back. Okay. And this is mind over murder. Welcome to mind over murder. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good luck! It's murder time, fun time! Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Professor Genki's back. I love Professor Genki. But this one's not quite Welcome as good as the last Professor one, Genki's but it is nice and interesting. Over murder. Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak. That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing 
players to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots. Flaming mascots, armed with rocket launchers, and RPGs. Jeez, that's a fight. And that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. All right, so that was Mind Over Murder. I know I, I didn't say anything during it because of those guys talking. But the, the face that those guys are hilarious and entertaining anyway. So yeah, uh, that, it's really simple. Any pedestrian will work as well as any, um, you know, Professor Genki uh, head uh, or ma any Professor Genki mascot head will work for those pink ones. So, um, yeah, it's it's not a hard, hard one. Well, it is until you get used to the controls and get used to your whole telekinetic powers. All right, so what do we got here for our next quest? Oh, that's the save screen. Zero cool. Break Matt Miller out. Okay, yeah, let's get him. All right, we got Sid. So, how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid then. He talks like he's got cooties or something. In any case, I will meet you over there because that's a far away ways away. And it's a long mission, so yeah. Okay, I am back and we are going to save Matt Miller now. At the Brokan Chalele. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. self-proclaimed hacker guy ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in steelport now he's asha's right-hand man in mi6 there's so we can trust him like she does hey kenzie how am i supposed to rescue matt without a weapon well you don't have superpowers either Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, uh, hell, not again. Damn it, the camera's screwed up. You just have to deal with it. God damn it. This isn't my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't the easiest, uh... Side mission, whatever. Or not side mission, but I, I hate the controls for this thing. I can, I can barely line it up just because I can't really see it that well. I'll try to adjust the brightness for you guys, but... Oh, for freaking sake. Come on, let me get... What is your... Let me move! Where? 3D? No, 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 no. Don't put in a space. Oops, sorry. How does he know not to put in a space? Come on. What the? What the frick? There. Drop. Tank. 3D. There we go. Final. There we go. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just 
blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Okay. Shouldn't be that hard, no, right? Firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Ms. Kinsey that sounds is good. rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Yeah. Oh. Touche. That's two. <laughs> Friggin' loves in, yeah. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet. But... God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If you guys haven't played Saints Row 3, um, there's a, uh, there's a point where, um, you go into Matt Miller's virtual world Easy. and she turns you into a toilet and a sex doll by accident. Kinsey, I mean. <sighs> what can you do? Aside from being a, you know, sex All right, and a... last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. God damn it, Tanya. Yeah. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Thank you. And text in my face. Just what I needed. Fortunately, these guys, they're not that hard. Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Please, access granted. What? That is so stupid. Play global thermal nuclear war. The winning move is not to play. Oh, gosh. Uh, that is, I'm so glad that they referenced that. That was awesome. Wait, is that it? Come on. Ow. Okay, now. Oh, God. What, do I just okay. walk? This will work. Yay. Oh, Lord, this one. Okay. Get to the IO Tower. Sounds like a plan. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look. An alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Oh, Lord. In this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, I never did like that play. So, I, I'm wondering, how does this alien know all about this Earth literature, especially to that level? To the part where he can just quote it off the top of his head. Whatever. I don't want to- I, I don't want to fight the game logic, because, you know, the game- the game's already questioned its own logic once, so why- why should I be doing it, right? Oh, God. So, I mean- oh, no. Uh yeah, you gotta get there in the time period that it's giving you, but, um, I don't know. I remember getting there, like, 50, with 50 seconds to spare, so I don't think I'm all that far, although I've crashed more often this time than the last. Um, so hopefully I'll make it through all right. Right? So far away. And th they made this world so big and hell of a maze. God damn it! Leave me alone! Ah! Leave me alone! Okay. So just keep driving, and maybe I'll survive. 
You're coming up on Matt's prison. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances coming. <laughs> Can you see All right, what's going so on? that's good. Oh. Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet. Because you wouldn't submit to my rule. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Okay, guys. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys both options. What's going to happen? Um... I'm going to choose the red door first, and I'm going to show you that. And then in the next episode, I'm going to show you what's in the blue door, and I think that'll be it for my uh, my nice long recording session. So let's try that real quick, shall we? Red door. Yep, so we get the, the credits, which... Uh, yeah, and and it's all an instant game over because we're dead and blah blah blah. We don't get any further part of the story, so sh whatever. In any case, I will see you all in the next video, whenever that may be. Uh, 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 no, 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 no! Leave me alone! Friggin' Slenderman! Go off! Oh, you are not good for my camera.